Sorry, you tie tie. Listen. <laughs> Shit, go electric like I'm Eli. Uh, that boy Fuzzy been crashing out all month. Hey, his Instagram is Ron.G7. I didn't give him any shout outs. He comes up to me today and he goes, My whole life I tried to tell people and listen, but they don't hear me. You guys make me feel seen and heard, so thank you. You can go to your guy friend and say, Dog, I'm in pain. We all are. Smoke weed and talk about the bitch we fucked last night and yo, did you hear what LeBron James said? Hey, did you hear what Fousey did? That dumbass, ha <laughs> ha. Hey, but he's funny though. These words that are coming out of my mouth are godly. And I have cognitive impairment now. You're not supposed to glorify your sins, but if you're sharing your sins to tell your Muslim brothers and sisters, don't do what I did, kids. That's who I'm gonna be. They said I did nothing for the Muslim community. Ugh, I'm a rapper now. Inside what? and out, I know the system. I can explain. Fuzzy keep going from calm to frantic. Fraud. Calm to frantic. I'm gonna talk off camera. I'm just doing this so I can post it and wake up these children that are busy watching TikToks, jacking off to OnlyFans girls. Bro, you know what I'm starting to learn about society? I don't think, bro, we gotta look at social media like. Me personally, I don't look at social media like it's real. I look at all oh, this is fake. Even though it's social media and we putting it on the platform, all oh, this is fake. It's not real, bro. And I say that to say this, bro. I could be on TikTok and I could come in on one thing and they gonna think I just agree with everything that's going on in that video. Whole time, I don't agree with half the stuff that's going on on here. I'm just commenting on the video. That's why I say social media is not real. And then when you try to tell them the truth on just like your outlook on things, niggas gonna be like, nah, you ain't that, you this. Like, alright, man, I guess social media, bro, you gotta treat that like. I look at social media like, even when I'm on Instagram and all that, bro, just, you can be yourself on there, but like, don't give too much of your real self because it's just social media, bro. It was a platform that was always put here just for us to be like social. And then that social went into people like sharing their real life situations. It wasn't supposed to go that far. But social media is fake. That's basically what I'm trying to say, bro. Don't believe nothing you see on the internet, man. And rotting their brains. Unless they got some and I was the, the one situation. sent on this earth to wake them up. I got shooters with me. You got I'm what, Fuzzy? I say that. I actually walk the walk that I talk. If I tell you I'm going to sock you in the face, guess what, cuz? I'm going to sock you in the face. See how calculated I am? Bro, bro, what the, the hell do Fuzzy got going on? on? Who is going through your house? They can see I got a ski on. Bitch, I'm trying to fuck Sam Frank. Frank. I got dick. <laughs> hey, bro, that might have been the funniest thing Dub done ever made. But look, well, see, watching stuff like this, this is why I be like, social media is fake, bro. I don't never let the hype of social media get too far to your head. Cause when you got dick, when you on a foozy level and you don't let social media get to your head, you don't completely lost it. Cause they gonna mean that don't mean nothing. But you only gonna like. 10 to your following so you're gonna get them whatever just to get their attention they could be fucking with it they could not be fucking with it they could look at you like you crazy they could not look at you like you crazy bruh nigga, whatever they won't feed to them fuzzy is gonna feed to them don't get too stuck in the mindset of thinking like i gotta go do ins and outs just to get somebody attention because bruh they gonna be there for that one second. Then tomorrow you make an upload, them same people is not gonna be there. I guarantee you. Unless you probably promoting the same thing you was promoting to get their attention. You do your regularly scheduled program after that. Them people is not gonna stay for the long run. Trust me. They only here to see you crash out. I came here to look for you rats. Where are you? Okay, fuck these real views, not no view box. Bitch, what the fuck the butch? I saw Lion King the musical one time. What? 
was on YouTube hiatus. Because I was the only YouTuber ever that wasn't a slave for the views, could take a year off, come back and say, bitch, I'm back with something brand new. Some YouTubers that started in 2011, actually, I'm the only one probably that started in 2011 that's still here today in 2024. And not only still here, still here at 34, but out working, out smarting, out performing, out stepping, out classing. All the 21 year olds in the game that they told me are popping, they have clout. Bro, I can't lie, I can't front. I'm just now learning who Fousey is. I'm just now, I'm kind of new to the whole YouTube game. I didn't start like really paying attention to YouTube until like I got involved into it and I started doing reactions. That's when I really started paying attention to YouTube. At first, I was just like watching people like Funny Mike and DDG and all of them. Now I really like watch, watch YouTube, bro. I actually agree with what Kyle was saying to Fuzi when he said what he said to him. Because, bro, you need some positive people around you. You don't need no people around you that's just going to have you. Like I said at the beginning of this video, going through ins and outs just to get a view, a like, a support, or whatever the case may be. You don't need them type of people around you. You need a great team around you that's going to guide you into the right space and company that you're supposed to keep. Now, if with Fuzzy being the, the 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 top guy in the room, I don't know if they can possibly guide him because he, he probably done already got it himself too left field too late. So like, I don't know if it's really any saving him, but, bro, I'm gonna tell y'all this right now, man. As a as a new content creator, because I'm still new in the game, I ain't been doing this that long. As a new content creator in the game, bro, do not get tricked by the hype, bro. I say that to say this, bro. I live in the same city as Duke Dennis, man. I ain't seen. I've been back home for like about cool three, four years now. I ain't seen Duke not once. But when I come in contact with people and I tell them that I do YouTube and they be like, damn, what you do? I be like, you know who Duke is? I, I try to say I basically do what he do. And niggas be like, niggas either like big up Duke or they talk crazy about Duke. And I'll be like, the fuck? All right, them niggas probably just some haters. And then whole time be some same niggas. They be like, oh, yeah, I used to play basketball with that nigga. You nigga think he the shit. Bah, 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 bah. I be like, nigga, y'all niggas is weird. That's why I say, bro, like, when they come to doing this, they're just. To get get your best that you can give, man. You ain't gotta go all crazy out for some views and some clicks, cause I'm saying people that's clicking on your platform right now to see you crash out. If you are acting like a foozy, them same people that saying you act how foozy acting right now versus how he used that, they are not the same people that was there from the beginning. These are new people that's just. Strictly here to see you crash out. Do not crash and burn yourself just for some clicks and views. Because it's not going to always be sustainable. It's going to end somewhere. It's probably going to end more with you crashing and burning. This for a moment. They are going to make millions. Like J. Cole said on his outro to 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Dumb little kid. If you're smart, you got to keep a good team around you, though. That's what Kai was last. trying to tell Fousey. That's what Kai was trying to tell that nigga. He was like, bro, what good people you got in your in the room with you right now that you knew for a long time? That nigga was like, I just met them today, bro. That's something. You got to keep some positive-minded people around you that want to see you win so all y'all can win for real.